Hello friends. Once again, we are continuing our practicing practice session, and uh, this time we have taken this problem. Uh, Twenty-five to the power three by two into two forty-three to the power three by five divided by sixteen to the power five by four into eight to the power four by three. Now it's always a good practice to remember some powers of uh, common, you know, prime numbers and other such numbers. For example. You must remember what is uh, five square, which is twenty-five. You must also remember five cube, which is one twenty-five. Five to the power four is six twenty-five, and so on and so forth. Similarly, powers of two you must remember. So two is uh, powers are four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. Two five six five one two and one zero two four. These are the ten powers on. Two. Similarly, powers of three are three, then uh, nine, then twenty-seven, then eighty-one, then two forty-three, then uh, seven twenty-nine. So these are the powers of three. Then similarly for uh, seven, it is seven forty-nine, then uh, uh, three forty-three. Likewise, right? So these are some powers of seven. You must remember. So that the calculation becomes you will be little faster while doing the calculation. So you can see two forty three, and here also there is a two forty three. So you could have figured it by now. What is it going to be now? How to solve? So the method is prime factorize the number and then use the laws of exponent. So what is our method? Factorize prime factorization. So do prime factorization of such numbers. Prime factors you find out and then use laws of Exponents. Correct. This is how you have to do. Now let's begin. So twenty-five can be written as five square. This is the prime factorization, and then the exponent is three by two. Then multiplied by two forty-three. What did we see? Two forty-three is nothing but uh, three to the power five. Actually, three to the power five. And then this is three to the three by five as the power. And then sixteen can be written as two to the power four, and the power is five by four. And eight can be written as two to the power three to the power four by three, and then simply using our laws of exponents, I know first term is five, two into three by two, and the rule used is a to the power m whole to the power n is a to the power m times n, and then multiplied by three to the power five into three to the into three by five. Sorry, the power is a three by five. Then two to the power four into five by four multiplied by two to the power three into four upon three. Very simple, isn't it? Now it just plain arithmetics, right? So two goes, five goes, four goes, and three also goes. So hence I get five to the power three multiplied by three to the power three multiplied divided by two to the power five and then divided by two to the power four, isn't it? This is what. You will be getting now, so that means it is five to the power three. That is one twenty-five. See, five to the power three was one twenty-five, isn't it? One twenty-five, and three to the power three is twenty-seven. And this divided by two to the power nine actually it is two to the power five into two to the power four is two to the power nine, which will be giving you five hundred and twelve. If you multiply the numerator here, you will get three thousand three hundred and seventy-five. Divided by five hundred and twelve, so this should be the answer. Okay, so what did we learn? We learn in such plainly numeric question of exponents. Try to first of all prime factorize the numbers and then use laws of exponents, my dear friends. Okay, so in this problem again, if you see, there are four terms, numerator and denominator there, and there is a minus sign which might create some trouble because we haven't studied. Any law which uses any law of exponents which uses or which is uh, defined for let's say two terms separated by plus or minus sign because if you remember all those were product based for um, rules so it a into b to the power n is a to the power n b to the power n but we never studied anything like a to the power a plus b to the power n is what okay so never mind let's see how we can solve such questions so if you see. All are appearing to be powers of two, isn't it? So let us again going by our basic rule. How to do first prime factorize? So sixteen is two to the power four clearly, 
and then this term is 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 2 square is 4 and 2 to the power n this is the numerator the denominator again 2 to the power 4 into 2 to the power n plus 2 minus 2 into 2 to the power n plus 2 right so what to do again so hence basically if you see uh, the you can use the law of exponents and you'll see 2 to the power it is n plus 5 why because 2 to the power m plus 2 into sorry into 2 to the power n will be 2 to the power m plus n isn't it so i've used this in the first and then the second one also it is 2 to the power n plus 2 divided by 2 to the power again n plus 6 minus 2 to the power n plus 3 isn't it that's what we are getting now if you see closely this something can be cancelled why and how how to find that out so if you see there are 2 to the power n plus 5 exponent and n plus 2 on the second term on the numerator then i can write the first term as 2 to the power n plus 2 into 2 to the power 3 isn't it why because the sum of the exponents will give you n plus 5 minus 2 n plus 2 right i can write like that and why did i do that because i got the hint from this n plus 2 i now want to in the next step it will become much clearer now in the second case also i can write 2 n plus 3 into 2 to the power 3 minus 2 n plus 3 isn't it now if you see i can take 2 to the power n plus 2 common from the numerator and what is left within 2 to the power 3 and then minus 1 isn't it and in the denominator as well i can take 2 to the power n plus 3 as common and the common the rest factor is 2 to the power 3 minus 1 isn't it now clearly this cancels out this so what is left i am left with 2 to the power n plus 2 divided by 2 to the power n plus 3 isn't it which can be written as 2 to the power n plus 2 n plus 2 minus n plus 3 isn't it why because a to the power m divided by a to the power n will be a to the power m minus n now hence what will be the result result would be 2 to the power n plus 2 minus n minus 3 which will give me 2 to the power minus 1 which is finally 1 upon 2 why because a to the power minus n is 1 upon a to the power n right so hence the answer is 1 by 2 of for this particular simplification problem